Hi everyone, welcome back to Dental Zen. Today we are here with a new video where we are going to discuss the physical properties of enamel, which is the outermost layer of your teeth. So we are going to discuss its hardness, thickness, color, and permeability. Is me se kya pass kar sakta hai, kaisa dikhta hai, kitta dikhe aur kitta hard. So in this video, we are going to discuss all the physical characteristics of enamel. So before we begin, I want you to quickly subscribe to Dental Zen if you have not done that till now. Also hit on the bell icon so that you remain notified about new new videos. First property, hardness. You know, the hardest substance in your body is present inside your teeth. Yes, enamel is the hardest substance in the human body. And that is your viva question. Why hardest? Because of presence of high mineral salts and their crystalline arrangement. Bohut sare minerals hai aur crystal structure mein padhe hai. Agar iski value batani ho, to... In noob hardness number, it is 343. On most scale, it is in the range of 5 to 8. That can be your entrance question. Now, because of its hardness, it protects the tooth crown. So, it forms a protective covering. Protect karke rakta But its most important function, chief function of enamel is mastication. It helps in chewing food. Khana khane mein help karta hai. But, 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 because of its structure and hardness, it is also brittle. That means it can fracture easily. So, it needs dentine below it. Because it fracture not fracture, so it needs dentine below it. It needs to remain intact. So, what will happen if dentine will get lost? If its dentine friend will fall down, like if there is cavity and if dentine gets destroyed, what will happen? So, the enamel support will be gone. Iski niche se support khatam ho jayegi. This unsupported enamel will break down. It will fracture easily. So, presence of sound dentine is very, very important for the integrity of enamel. If we talk about the modulus of elasticity and hardness, it is more on the surface than on the dentino enamel junction. Now, let's talk about the thickness. First, see a picture of primary teeth. It is same all over the ground. Sub jaga same hai thickness. So it is uniform thick in primary teeth. And how much is it? It is, it is 1 to 1.2 millimeter. Now let's see the picture of permanent teeth. Is it same everywhere? No. It has variable thickness. So where it is thickest? In the cuspal region. Cusp tip pe. Like here you can see. So it is thickest in the cusps of molars and premolars. It is about 2 to 2.5 millimeter. And in case of incisor teeth, it is thickest in the incisal edges. And it is thinner in the cervical regions here. It becomes knife edge or feather edge. Knife edge jaisa ya feather edge jitna ho jata hai here. And it is about 0.7 mm. So that can be your viva question where it is thickest. Now it is also thicker on the supporting cusps of the teeth. That is on the lingual surfaces of the maxillary molar, jo under ke surfaces hai, and on the buccal surfaces of mandibular molars, mandibular molars ke jo bahar ke surfaces hai. So enamel is thicker here as you can see in this picture. So that can be your another viva question. On which cusps enamel is thicker? It is on the supporting cusps. Now that is because of the functional adaptation. Let's talk about the color. Now this is picture of permanent teeth. Do you think it appears white? No. The color of enamel in permanent teeth is in a range. So it ranges from yellowish white to grayish white as you can see here or bluish white. Whereas in primary teeth as you can see here the color is milky white or china white as you can see here. So that is your viva question. Color in primary teeth, color in permanent teeth. Now why this color difference is there? It is because of their different refractive indices. That can be another viva question. So refractive index for primary and permanent teeth is different. Now it depends on the translucency of enamel. Kitna translucent hai? So color is determined by the translucency of enamel which further depends on translucency. Ab kis pe depend kar diya? Kitna mineral hai? Degree of mineralization and enamel homogeneity. So which one do you think should be more translucent? Primary or permanent? Which is more mineralized? Permanent. Yes. So permanent teeth are more mineralized, more homogeneous, so they are more translucent. Primary teeth are less mineralized, more heterogeneous, so they are less translucent. So we can say translucency is more for permanent teeth than primary teeth. So primary teeth will appear more opaque, permanent teeth will appear more translucent. But wait, 
in permanent teeth we just said that they show a range of colors so permanent teeth will appear yellowish when they have thin translucent enamel as you can see here when they are thinner enamel and they will appear grayish when they are more they have more opaque thicker enamel so why this thin enamel will give yellow color it should appear translucent transparent dikhna chahiye yellow kyu dikhta hai why yellowish because from this thin enamel we can see the color of underlying dentine yes because of yellowish hue of dentine is seen from this thin enamel that is your viva question and teeth which are grayish their cervical regions can give yellowish slightly yellowish appearance because because enamel is thinner here we just read that when enamel is thinner the light can strike the underlying dentine and can get reflected back to niche ke dentine ka yellow color dikhega what about incisal areas incisal areas give bluish tinge this is because in this thin edge in, there is only double layer of enamel only double layer of enamel is there no dentine is there so incisal areas give bluish tinge now what happens with the change in wavelength of light so with the increase in wavelength translucency will also increase so we can say that red light with higher wavelength will give translucent appearance to enamel whereas blue light which has lower wavelength will give more opaque appearance to enamel that can be your entrance question what happens with the dehydration agar iske aas paas se pani hata de तो इनामल विल गिव मोर ओपेक अपेरेंस इसकी ट्रांसलूसेंसी कम हो जाएगी सो डीहाइड्रेशन डिक्रीज इज ट्रांसलूसेंसी वेर एज रीहाइड्रेशन विल रिवर्स इट अगर हम वापस से पानी ले आए तो ये वापस से ट्रांसलूसेंट हो जाएगा सो वी कैन से दैट ड्राई इनामल अपीयर्स मोर ओपेक विद इंक्रीज इन एज मिनरलाइजेशन विल इंक्रीज और ट्रांसलूसेंसी विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज लेट सी पॉमिएबिलिटी With radioactive trace element studies, it has been seen that enamel acts as semi-permeable membrane. That means it permits complete or partial passage of certain molecules. Pass कर सकते हैं like carbon labeled urea, iodine, etc. Also, some dyes can pass, but its permeability decreases with age because its mineralization increases with age. Mineralization बढ़ जाएगी. तो इसमें से pass होना थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाएगा. Now let's see some of the other physical characteristics quickly. Specific gravity of enamel is 2.8. Its density is higher on the surface than in the deeper regions. Also it is more in the cuspal regions as compared to the incisal areas and it is non-electrical conductive material. Isme se pass nahi karta so it acts as insulator at room temperature. Let's see some of the values. Temperature resistance as measured by AC impedance spectroscopy is in the frequency range of 5 to 13 hertz electrical resistance is in the range of 10 to 15 to 10 to 5 ohms and transmission coefficient at 525 nanometer wavelength is 0.481 per millimeter all these can be your entrance questions let's quickly revise what you are going to talk about in physical properties hardness thickness color permeability at least so it is the hardest substance in human body but brittle thickest at the cusp and thinner at the cervical region Permanent teeth give yellowish to grayish white or bluish white color. Primary teeth give milky white to china white color, and it acts as semi-permeable membrane. Let's see what have you learned today. Which is the hardest substance in human body? Where is enamel thickest in permanent teeth? Cuspal or cervical region? What is the color of enamel in permanent teeth? What is the color of enamel in primary teeth? And why this difference is there? Which is more opaque, dry enamel or wet enamel? in terms of permeability what kind of membrane enamel acts as so that is all for this video if you've learned something new do tap on the like button also share the video with your friends keep learning keep watching and good luck for your exams see you in the next video till then take care bye bye